G'day guys, Dan here again. Um, well, uh, it was only about um, a week or two ago, ago that um, I was on a friend's uh, Facebook and I saw a lot of arguments um, against uh, Christian metal. Um, and this sort of got me a little bit upset because, um, and I see it everywhere, um, on YouTube, on people's blogs, um, and, you know, splashed out all over the internet that, you know, there's a lot of people out there who, who might claim to be Christians who really do hate uh, Christian metal. Now, um, I'm not at all saying that you have to like Christian metal. I'm, I'm not at all saying that. But I want to I want to show you exactly where I'm coming from with uh, my point of view. Um, by saying things like uh, Christian metal is of the devil or... or you know, or proclaiming that it's a wrong thing um, is actually uh, doing two, two wrong things. So you're actually saying that this is a works uh, plus, oh sorry, this is a gospel plus works doctrine. So uh, by that I mean that um, yes, you're saved by grace, but you also are saying that um, you can only listen to this sort of music, um, and which is um, which is really bizarre like you know what why would anyone want to change uh your music style and genre um you know uh great for you if you want to but like you know you shouldn't you shouldn't necessarily have to change your music genre uh, but only if it gives glory to god um so yeah that having said um you know in in whatever you do uh, make sure that you weigh it up with the scriptures and make sure that it gives glory to God. So, yes. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I guess my problem is is that, like, you know, any one of those people who really don't like Christian metal um, can uh, jump on uh, Google and, you know, look up any of the lyrics from uh, Becoming the Archetype uh, Demon Hunter, Living Sacrifice, um, you know, the list goes on. And you'd actually see straight up that these guys are genuine. They really do have a heart for God. Um, you know, the, the next problem is um, is that you, you actually force people to listen to music that they might not necessarily like. So, for instance, if a Christian metalhead, um, you know, or, or a metalhead decides to become a Christian um, and you know that are you forcing that person to listen to a genre of music that they don't like um, so it, you know it doesn't ex exactly make any sense because well we need actually we need people uh, Christians um, in all areas of um, you know of the world so you know we need Christians who who are into uh, metal so that we so that who people who like uh, Christians who like metal can be the salt unto those who who do appreciate metal, and you know people who like uh, Christian country music can mix with those who like country music. You know, um, you know I'm I'm a Christian metalhead. I'm not gonna you know um, jump around to Barlow Girl and and Zoe Zoe Girl or whatever it is. Um, you know because. Um, it just doesn't appeal to me so you know um, but yeah like m my point is that uh, God is so great he is so awesome so powerful um, so all-knowing that um, it's uh, it's absolutely heresy to to say that God can only be proclaimed in uh, one genre style of music um, so yeah that's uh, my two cents and um, yeah, you're, you're more than welcome to uh, uh, hit me up with any rebuking that uh, you may feel led to, um, but if you're going to do so, please back it up with scripture. Thanks.